Most people don't recognize the massive changes that have taken place in telecommunications over the last 60 years. Telecom companies basically flipped the world's voice network from one that was dedicated to just voice, was expensive and proprietary, to one that is open, much more affordable, and broadband based. There is one device in particular that enabled this transition. It is called a media gateway. What do we know about this mysterious black box that bridges the gap between the past and future of telecommunications? To understand the role of media gateways, let's take a step back and take a quick look at the evolution of telecommunications. In the beginning, it was analog signals that moved over the early telephone network. These were the analog signals that traveled through the dedicated wires that filled the telephone poles in those old photographs. They were central to managing voice calls up until the 1960s because that is when the first big shift occurred with digitalization and the first TDM multiplexing of calls. This new technology allowed multiple users to share one wire and communicate without interference. For phone companies, it meant carrying many more calls over longer distances with fewer wires. That was a big deal. Then in the 1990s, another major change happened and as you may have guessed, it is related to the invention of the internet and voice over internet protocols soon took off. With voice over IP, calls were no longer bound to dedicated networks and they were free to traverse the globe. Unlike traditional phone networks, this technology was very cost-effective, flexible, and highly efficient. Despite these obvious benefits, the transition to voice over IP wasn't easy for telecom companies who had built their operations on older TDM infrastructure. And this is where media gateways fit into the picture. These black box devices served as intermediaries between traditional TDM networks and new voice over IP networks, providing a bridge between incompatible technologies. But how exactly does a media gateway work? Who makes them and how are they made? And finally, where do media gateways fit into the telephone network today? Let's take a closer look. A media gateway is a device that sits between two networks where different types of communication protocols meet. Basically, it acts as a bridge between old and new incompatible formats converting TDM to IP and vice versa. When we first started Telco Bridges back in 2002, our prospective customers made it very clear they needed high performance, carrier grade media gateways for their business. As of today, Telco Bridges has sold media gateways into more than 110 countries worldwide. This is Telco Bridges, one of the few companies in the world that designs and manufactures carrier grade media gateways for the telecom industry. Today we are visiting their headquarters in Boucherville, Canada to see the behind the scenes of media gateway production. The production process can be divided into four simple stages, order consultation, assembly, testing, and tech support. The process starts with our sales team working directly with the client to understand their network architecture, connectivity requirements, and scale requirements. This helps us determine the media gateway's capacity and interfaces, as well as possible special requirements of the client. We also consider if the client wants any additional features, such as integrated signaling, power supply requirements, high availability options, or channel capacity. When we configure the media gateway, we will be able to find the most suitable solution and customize it accordingly. Next, the production team assembles the media gateway with the necessary modules and components, circuit boards, connectors, processors, and memory chips, all of which are top grade and ethically sourced, by the way. 
Today, Talco Bridges supports equipment that was sold 20 years ago and is still in operation. We take care of providing the best products to our customers because we see this relationship as a very long-term one. The next step is quality control. The team conducts a battery of tests such as functionality and compatibility checks, stress tests, and burn-in to ensure the finished gateway is ready for years of uninterrupted service. After the completion of testing, the finished media gateways are meticulously packaged with user manuals, cables, and all the necessary mounting accessories, and then promptly shipped directly to the client. If a client needs assistance with installation or deployment, a highly skilled tech support team is here to help. Telco Bridges offers 24-7 access to industry-leading customer support for North America, Europe, and Asia. So this is how media gateways are made in a nutshell. In today's telecom world, media gateways continue to play a crucial role in enabling seamless communication between different types of networks. Now, let's go back to the timeline for a second. And as technology has continued to evolve since the 1990s, so have new challenges. As IP networks have become more widespread, and with the adoption of the SIP protocol, so has the need to protect those networks. This time, telecom providers needed a solution that would provide security from fraudsters, hackers, and trolls. And that is how Session Border Controllers, or SBCs, came to be. An SBC sits between two SIP networks at the network border, providing connectivity and protection from malicious attacks. Basically, an SBC protects voice over IP connections from intrusions and ensures their integrity. Coupled with media gateways, SBCs allows telecom companies to migrate from older TDM networks to modern SIP networks without risking their security. This process is called network transformation. And by the way, if this is something you are considering, check the description below to learn more about the solution. Communications for business and consumers are continuously evolving, becoming faster, safer, and more connected, thanks to AI, greater bandwidth, 5G, multimedia, and other advancements in technology. And as we look at the past and glimpse into tomorrow, one question comes to mind. How will telecom transform the way we communicate? Stay tuned as Telco Bridges takes the lead in driving the transformation. Hello, 